Paula, uh, what's going on? Because it's very disturbing information. The U.S. Ambassador Mark Lippert to South Korea has been attacked. That's right, Wolf. Well, we have confirmation now from the embassy, an embassy spokesman in Seoul, saying that they can confirm there was an incident this morning. It's now 8.30 in the morning local time. Uh, they said that uh, Ambassador Lippert is currently in hospital, but he is in a stable condition. Uh, now, we know that he was at an event this morning. It was uh, the reconciliation of the two Koreas. Uh, so he was at a public event. We don't know exactly uh, how this went, uh, uh, how this was carried out, but it was about uh, 7.42 Paula, a. hold on, uh, Paula, hold on one ago. second, Paula, because we are now being told he was attacked by a razor blade. Someone took a razor blade and went to his right cheek and slid it. Uh, and that's why he's holding his hand there. But go ahead, finish your report. That's right. This is what we have from the police at the moment, that uh, it was a suspect in his 60s. Uh, he used a small razor blade. Uh, he has, uh, the ambassador has injuries on his right cheek, also on his hand, which uh, obviously coincides with those pictures that we're seeing. Uh, the suspect at this point has been detained. He's under investigation. Uh, please tell us they have no idea of the motive uh, of this attack. Uh, but these are the latest details that we have, uh, that it was a small razor blade attack, and it was at a public event uh, this uh, this morning, the reconciliation of two careers. Um, the ambassador is in hospital and in a stable condition, according to the embassy. Any indications, Paula, that this could have been politically motivated, that this 60-year-old individual who allegedly took a razor blade and, and went to the, uh, the ambassador's right cheek with it, we can see him holding his hand there, clearly he's bleeding uh, as he's being rushed to the hospital for treatment. Any indication there was some sort of political motive or what? Well, please say they don't have a motive at this point, but they're going to be looking at everything. Obviously, this is not just an attack that happened in North Korea. In South Korea, they're going to be looking at possible implications um, from North Korea. They're going to be looking at all sorts of different, uh, uh, different possibilities, whether or not there was an attack uh, against, uh, against the United States, whether or not it was North Korea-related. There are a number of different implications with this attack or whether or not this was just uh, a lone attacker uh, who had problems. It's, it's really too early to tell. Police say they do not know at this point. They're questioning the man. He's under investigation. He has been detained. He's with authorities right now. So they are talking to him right now to try and find out why he did this.